Fernando. Hello, Fernando. Hello. How are you? Uh, a little bit tired. Okay. But, uh, I'm fine. All right. Freddy and Jose, welcome back. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good. I'm okay. Thank God. How was your weekend, Freddy? Well, I have a good weekend. Uh -huh. Because I can rest. Yeah. Um, yesterday, I stayed home, watching okay. TV, and a okay. little relax for me. Good. That's good. What about you, Jose? How was your weekend? Hello. Uh, my, during my weekend, just work. What was that again? I, 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 I couldn't hear you. Just working. Okay, so you work Saturday and Sunday too? Right. Okay, fine. All right, good. Okay, so I'm glad that you guys are back. Some of you had the chance to rest and some of us had to work. <laughs> Yeah. Someone has to do it. Yeah. All right. Okay, fine. So, uh, do you remember what we spoke about on Thursday? Mm. Check your notes if you have to. Teresa. I remember that we we talked about uh, Christmas festivities. Yes. We answered some question about it. Right. We we I think we only had time to discuss the the first two questions, and then time and we ran out of time. Today we will finish discussing those questions. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Maribel. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. Thank you. Me too. Good. <laughs> you, uh, you have new batteries today. <laughs> new? Yes. Batteries. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> charge your batteries charge over the weekend. On weekend. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So, like Freddie was saying, um, last class we were discussing, we began to discuss a few questions related with Christmas, um, but we didn't have much time. So that will be one of the activities that we have for today. You know, we're gonna be talking, we're gonna be discussing. Um, what else did we do? Do you remember? Yes. Uh-huh. What is Christmas? What okay. is Christmas? Is Christmas the same today as it was uh, 100 years ago? All right. So yes. this? Okay, so those were the questions. Uh -huh. and besides that discussion, did we have any other activity? Yes, we talk about connecting ideas. Exactly, yes. And when we say connecting ideas, what exactly were we talking about? About some words like, however, and therefore. Uh-huh, uh-huh, exactly. Spider. Spider. of. Good, good. And you know, and those are words that you need to be able how to use when you're having a conversation with a person because that will help you keep the conversation going fluent, fluent and more fluent. So that's something that you guys need to use when you're speaking. Okay, anything else about uh, um, 
last Thursday? No? Okay, so today's class, we're going to start um, using certain vocabulary that is related to sleeping. When you hear the word sleeping, what comes to your mind? Do you smile? Yes. <laughs> a bed, a comfortable bed. Okay. Good. Now, do you think there is, is funny. Um, <laughs> you know, because doctors, they tell you, you need to have a good diet, but you need to also sleep well. Yeah. Sleeping well is necessary. You don't function the same the following day if you don't get good sleep. Yes. Yes. Hello, yes. Nidia. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. Good. I'm tired, but okay. <laughs> Everybody's tired on a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. On Saturday, it was raining a lot. Exactly. And we ate our lunch with my husband and we take a nap. Oh, nice. Uh, we, we have a, a date with a friend of mine. Uh -huh. We go to eat dinner and I heard a WhatsApp. And I think, oh, it's Jacqueline. But after that, the phone, the, it sounds, sound. And my husband woke up and go to the phone uh -huh. and, hey, what happened? At what time we're going to eat dinner? Oh. So from the lunch, we woke up at 6.15. Oh, but that's good. Afternoon. We, like, well, You were scared. Yes. It was, a, it was a good sleep, really. A good exactly. Night. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. yes. And that's a good sign, you know, like when you say, look, we had lunch, we went to sleep, and we woke up five hours later. Yes. So your body needed that break. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is it raining in your houses right now? No. No. No? no. Okay, fine. It's raining a little bit here in San Salvador. Yes, but right here, just the... The, the wind, okay. the wind of rain. Right. That's like the announcement, like, look, get ready. Rain is coming. Get ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. Get your umbrellas. All right. So what else can you say about sleeping? <sighs> what comes to your mind? Say something that is related to sleeping. Anybody? Mm -hmm. Freddie, to have, to have dreams, dreams, uh -huh. nightmares, dreams, nightmares. Nightmares. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Uh, sometimes we provoke nightmares. Maybe because we have a heavy dinner and we go to sleep immediately. Yes. Your stomach doesn't have digestion. And it yes. sends crazy messages to your brain and you start dreaming illogical things. <laughs> yes. That's true. Okay. When was the last time you had a nightmare? Do you remember your last nightmare? No. 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 I don't remember. Okay. No. Okay, fine. So let's um let me show you the vocabulary that we have for today. This teacher, yes, I have sir. a little question. Yes, um, ask me. Well, um, uh, I have the expression relating to sleep, and yes. I know that today we learned about it, but I want to know what is the difference between take a power nap and just take a nap. Okay, very good. Do you see the PowerPoint on your screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so uh, vocabulary related to sleeping. So, Freddie, please read the options that we have there. Uh, be fast asleep. Uh huh. 
Be wide awake. Yes. Feel drowsy. Yeah, drowsy. Drowsy. Not up. Take uh -huh. a power nap. Be down and left. Um, drift, drift up. Drift yes, drift, up. drift off. Drift up. Have a sleep. Have a sleepless night. Sleep like a lock and yeah. toss and turn. Toss and turn. Now, ask me again. What? Which? Which ones did was? Um, did you mention? Oh, uh, take a power nap and take when we can say take a nap. It's the same. Uh, it's not a. Uh, for example, that word power is not a big it, difference. It's, Yes, it, it's not a big difference, but it makes a difference. Can somebody explain the differences between saying take a nap and take a power nap? Anybody? Oh, feature could be that, for example, when we say power nap is because we really needed that nap. Okay. And when we just said, I just need a nap, is sometimes, or so it's not so important. Okay, so let, let me explain. When you say take a nap, maybe it's because something that you do every day. Well, every time after lunch, I take a 45 minute nap. That is something that you do. But in some cases, your body is asking you take a nap. Why? Because your, your, your body needs power. So you say, well, you know, this afternoon I took a power nap. That means that after you took a nap, you felt completely different. You felt much better than before. So that is the difference. So taking a nap can be something that you do every day. When you take a power nap is something, uh, w when you finish sleeping, you feel very well and you feel recovered. Okay. Maybe we, teacher, maybe when we are uh, exa exhausted. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh, at work, oh my God, I have. Uh, you a need sleep, a power nap. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, that is, is, is sometimes. Okay. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. Okay. Right. And, and, and you know that when, when you're exhausted, like you're saying, a power nap is necessary. And, and you know, your body is very thankful that sometimes 15 or 20 minutes changes uh, everything. So you feel much better. Yes. Take a nap is the same, take a rest. Uh, take okay, a rest. take a nap usually means going to sleep for a limited amount of time. Now, rest can be sitting down, checking your cell phone, you're resting, listening to music. So, resting, resting can be a little bit more general. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Can someone explain the first word? Be fast asleep. When, you do, when we don't need a lot of time to sleep. Um, not really. Be fast asleep. Someone else? When we, when, when we go to the bed and, and in one sleep minute quickly. we are, we are, we are, we are dreaming. Sleep. <laughs> Actually, one minute after and you're snoring. Be <laughs> fast asleep. Do you snore? Do you guys snore? What? You see the word in the chat? Hold on. You see the word? Snore. Snore. Snore is the sound that you make when you sleep. Right? So, once again, do you snore? No. no. On times, I think so. <laughs> okay. Don't be afraid to say you snore. It's normal. It's human. Yeah. 
<laughs> so I when snore. We, when we have, when we have uh, eat, eaten, eaten uh, too much. Exactly. Sometimes we have to, we snore. You snore, yes. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes the position of mm -hmm. how you sleep uh, can provoke snoring too. Okay, so Freddie, be fast asleep. Just like Maribel says, you go to your bed and five minutes later, your history. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the other one? Be wide awake. Anybody? Be wide awake. I don't have any idea. Anybody else? Maybe, maybe deeply. Uh, deeply? I think when you wake up for every day, uh, no, no, no. wake up for a noise, for any stimulus. Okay. Yeah. Um, how, do you, how, how do you say temblor in English? Earthquake. Earthquake. Okay, earthquake, earthquake. earthquake is terremoto. terremoto. But oh, if hey. you want to say like, oh my God. Trembling? Okay, you say tremor. Tremor. You see the chat? Tremor. So imagine there is a strong tremor at three in the morning. Do you go back to sleep or do you stay wide awake? Hmm. I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people are like, well, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. They go back to sleep. <laughs> but in some cases, someone, something tells you, look, don't go back to sleep. Something else might happen. So be wide awake means to be with your eyes open and you cannot sleep at all. Okay. okay. What about feel drowsy? What's the meaning of that? Um, feel drowsy. Uh -huh. Any ideas? When we wake up and want to uh continue sleeping okay that can be so when the alarm sounds you feel drowsy and sometimes you don't understand what's happening um, so you want to sleep more when you feel drowsy yes or sometimes when you take medicine you know when you read the instructions the indications it says um this medicine can cause you feel drowsy. That means mm -hmm. it's not a good idea to take it if you're working, if you are in the office. Like beta grade PM. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So you can take beta grade PM if you're at home, but not in, not, not in, uh, not in, not in your office. What about the next one? Anybody? When you are like this and... When you are? Uh, no, no. Your, your head, you are feeling like sleeping and... Exactly, exactly. Yes. When we don't listen to learn. <laughs> oh, right, when you... <laughs> exactly, when you're in the bus and you're tired, you start going like this. That means you're... Not enough, yes. And Freddie, what's a power nap? When we say, when, for example, uh, when we go to sleep a little amount of minutes. Okay, a, a, a limited amount of time. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what happens after you finish sleeping? You feel, feel powerful. With more energy. Very good. You feel energy, you feel powerful. Very good. Okay, what about be sound asleep? Be sound asleep. Deeply. Sleep deeply. Yes. 
It means to sleep deeply. It's like when you sleep like a baby. Okay. What about the other one? Drift off. Oh. Drift off. Drift off. I don't have idea. No. Nidia, do you know drift off? No. Jose, what is drift off? I don't have an idea. No? Maribel, or I think I saw Evelyn. Evelyn, are you there? Lorraine? Yes, but I don't have any idea. No? Fernando, Lorraine? No. No? Drift off means to go to sleep. To go to sleep. Drift yes. off. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. You can say, I'm sorry, I didn't hear my cell phone. I drifted off. So you were sleeping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, do you remember the word sleepless? Yeah. Okay, yes. what is the function of less, less. in this case? It's, uh, it's, that you lost something or you have less of anything. Okay. <laughs> what if I say... Sufijo. 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 And we can agree. Suffix. Right, right. So, okay, so what is the function of this word in this case if you combine it with sleep? What is sleepless? It reduce something. Okay. Less than something. Less than. All right. So when you, you when you make a combination of this word with something else, that means that you don't have the previous word. The lack of something. Exactly. Yes, when you lack something. For example, I said, look, I have some candy and the candy is sugarless. What does that mean? That it without sugar. Sure. Exactly. Without it's sugar. without sugar. It doesn't have sugar. So when you say a sleepless night, that means you did not sleep. What about oh, the okay. next one? Sleep like a log. Ah, uh, you sleep. Yeah. Like a log. <laughs> you sleep. Like a log. Okay. I don't know. Okay, and what is the meaning of log? It's a piece of wood. Very good. It's like a trunk. Yes. So, okay. you sleep like a log, that means you sleep like a baby. To, to sleep deeply, it's the same. Exactly, exactly, yes. And we have the last one, toss and turn. Toss and turn. Hmm. No. Anybody, toss and turn? Toss and turn is when you are in your bed and you go from one side to another. The war is literal. You face the wall, then you face the other side. You face the wall and then the other side. When does that happen? You can sleep. So you can sleep. Exactly. When you're having problems to sleep. Problems to sleep. Mm -hmm. Usually because the person suffers in sleep. Teacher, could, yes, you use, could you use this word in a sentence, please? Sure. You can say, look, the fan in my house was not working. So last night it was so hot that I tossed and turned the whole night. That means that you were moving back and forth, back and forth. Yes, toss and turn. Yes. So you can say, um, I have a very serious situation in my office that doesn't let me go to sleep. So every night I toss and turn, toss and turn. 
So you're always thinking about something and that interferes with your sleep. Got it? Yes, thank you. Okay, okay. Did everybody copy the vocabulary? Yes. Okay, okay. So if you have the vocabulary, now your, your assignment is to classify each word, each expression in these four different categories. Having trouble sleeping, falling asleep, sleeping a short time, and sleeping deeply. So I'm going to make groups so you guys can work together and you and your uh, group classify each one accordingly. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Hi, Fernando. Hi, Robert, and hi, Jose. Well, what will we do? Well, we have to classify the last vocabulary, and we have number one, having trouble sleeping. What expression we can put, uh, we can put in that category? Um, B, Y. Uh, in this case, I think that I will have to pick all the ones again to the sentences. What is it? The previous sentences. Could you kindly, uh, could you kindly assist me uh, showing to me once again the, yeah, the vocabulary. Can you see it? Yes. yes. All right. For example, in that we have um, the last one, toss and turn. Okay. So problem. Yeah. Good. The other one, um, have a sleepless night. Right. Fernando, Robert, what do you think? Have a, a Be fast asleep. Night. No, no. Be oh. wide awake. Okay, yes, be wide awake, you can include it in having trouble sleeping. Yes. What else? Maybe that's it. Okay, okay, what about the second part, falling asleep? The second be fast, category. Be fast asleep. Okay. Be fast asleep. Uh-huh. Not a Yes. Drift off, like drift a off. Let's sleep like a dog. Okay, drift off, sleep like a log. Okay. Be sound asleep. Um, what is it? Sure, be sound, sure, be sound sure. Asleep. Yes, be sound asleep. What about sleeping a short time? Take a power nap. Just take take a power nap. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Let me visit your friends in the other rooms. I'll be back with you. Hey, by the way, I have a couple of questions. I have finished it with all the platform, but there is a lot of mistakes in the platform. As uh, an what, example, what kind of mistakes? The, as an example, at the final exam, yes. Well, after doing all the platform, the percentage that qualifies you, it's still qualifying you. Uh, based it in five lessons, not based it in, in four lessons. Good to know. L let me write that down. That's the number one. The number two, it's that at the final test on the A part, yes. even if you have all the right answers, the system is only giving you 17.5% instead of the 20%, okay. instead of the 20 points. It's because That's we don't that. have the number two. Number two. No, because if number one, then if number three, we don't have number two. Yeah. In the last part, in letter A. Right, right. Okay. So uh, you say that you only get 17% even if all the answers are good. Yes. 
Okay, and, and that is in the final exam. That's on the final exam, yes. Teacher, I sent the video uh -huh. in chat and WhatsApp group and you can see that. Okay, thanks. Uh, any other observations uh, about the, the platform? So yes, we can in combine the sentences as well, we still have the the issue when we're trying to combine uh, two, uh, two, let's say, two type of compositions, two type of different uh, description about the same place. It's not accepting any, any, any of the forms. Okay, you're talking about the part where you're describing mm -hmm. towns? Yes. I'm talking about B, combined sentences. We have to combine two different sentences in one. Okay, and what does the platform say? Uh, the platform, it's always uh, giving, giving us the... Since we have to rewrite it, the sentences. Right. To make it run using non... I, 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 right now, I don't, I don't remember, but it's non, non something at first would, would, would be which, that, where. Okay. It's not accepting any of those answers. All right. As well, uh, I have the same issue in complete the sentences, in, uh, which is the C, the C part. On the C part, there's an answer that is always saying that it's the six, the number six of the first part at complete the sentences. Okay. It's always saying that it's a, a, a bad answer, even if, if we if it's right and right. Okay. It's right and exactly the same that uh, as the option that you have over there, which is transportation systems. Uh, well, it's transportation system, but it's not allowing us. It's always telling me that it's a, a bad answer. Okay. All right. So let me report this to my supervisor and see what they uh, see what they say. And um, I will send it um, to him, and I will give you guys an answer, hopefully, tomorrow. Okay, thank you. All right, good. To sleep, but I don't know if you, you really fall asleep. So what? So what do you think? What's the other one? Lorena, what do you think? Huh? Number one, two, three, or four. Feeling drowsy is you feel like you want to go to sleep. You feel like tired, like when you you take a pill for the what's the name of this? The cough. The, yes. The oh, there is my teacher. Okay, which one? You mean the pills, or or what are you talking about? Uh, feel drowsy. Uh huh. Yeah, I have difficult to classify because I know it's like when I take a pill for uh, for the flu. Right, right. So uh, when you feel drowsy, it's because you don't feel completely awake. You mm -hmm. are not completely aware of what's going on around you. So let's say... Um, you hear a noise in the patio of your house at two in the morning. You hear the noise, you wake up, but you feel drowsy because you, you don't, you, you feel like you're sleeping. So that is drowsy. Yes, yes. What is the classification? Uh -huh, falling so, asleep, I think so. Uh -huh, right, yes. Number two, yeah. Mm -hmm. All in sleep? Drift. Okay. And drift off? Go to sleep? Uh, sleep in a short time? Sleep deeply? I don't know. This is all to sleep. Falling asleep? So, so what does that mean? Maybe the number two, two. Drift off. Yes, you feel drowsy. Falling asleep. Falling asleep. Uh-huh. Number two. 
Yeah, long? so drift off means to sleep. Yes, no, too drowsy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me visit your other friends. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, that is nice. Yes. Because we can use uh, this kind of place or words in our in our conversation. In our daily in our daily situation, yeah. And try in to our practice. Real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For learning. So we have finished, teacher. All right, good. Um, let's go back to the main. Okay, the conference. main stream. Okay. Yeah. The main sessions. Okay, see you, see you in there. Seconds. Can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> okay, good. Um, do you have any questions related with the vocabulary that we used when we're talking about sleeping? Is everything clear? Well, let me see. Uh -huh. For example, uh, not off. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure if if I can uh, put it in feeling asleep or sleep in a short time. Um, usually, this is the sign mm -hmm. that you're falling asleep uh, okay. because you're so. not really sleeping at that time. Okay. You're like this, and mm -hmm. there is a moment that your body is like it needs to rest and you finally close your eyes. Ah. Okay. Uh-huh. So it's feeling yeah. asleep. It's like a signal that we are rest. <laughs> that we are tired, sorry. sorry. Exactly. And that you need to rest. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. right. All right. Any other questions? No? Okay, so I'm going to make groups again. And we're going to finalize the conversation that we had about Christmas, the one we began on Thursday. Remember? Yes. Okay. So let yes. me see where this is. It should be here. Do you see the questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's make group. Make sure that if you have someone in the group that is not talking too much, make them talk. Ask them questions. Okay, but somebody has to take the picture and so, send it by WhatsApp. Someone has to what? To take a picture of the screen okay, and send it by, oh, the, okay. by WhatsApp. Okay, good idea. See this? I think someone took it already. Uh, um, what is three? It's not the same today as it was a hundred years ago. Okay, can you see the questions in, in what's up? Um, I will check right now. Okay, so there you have two images. Choose the one that works better for you. So I'll make groups and make sure that everybody talks in the group. See you in a minute. Okay. Yeah, well, finally we have the, the patient on WhatsApp group. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me put her. Here, she will go there, and one more. All right, see you in a minute.
All right. All right. So <laughs> who's going to start? I, I don't have the, uh, well, yes, uh, I, I see the questions. Okay, very good. Well, I don't know. All questions. Who, 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 uh, I think or? last Thursday we had the chance to discuss one and two, I think. Yeah. One and two. Okay, All so right. let's start discussing question number three. All right, I'm gonna ask. Uh, well, the best what Christmas, is the best Christmas you, you ever have? You ever had. Mm -hmm. Can you answer that? Yes. Well, for me, it was the last year because uh, it, it was the first Christmas that I've been a uh, married and also with my kid. Very so, good. Yeah, we enjoy. And also we, we took care of, of him because uh, he was a, a little baby. He was like one month and a half. Uh, oh my God, 45 days. Uh, yes, something like that. Uh -huh. So we, 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 we took care of him. And also we enjoy here my family and my mom, my, my father, my wife, and everything. <laughs> good, very good. What about the others? Robert, Jose. Well, unfortunately, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, what about the I mean, others? Because for me, it would be... Which Christmas was being the the uh, it's not the worst but the less worst. Oh, okay. So that's the reason why it's difficult for me to. Okay. To that. Okay, so you had like bad experiences for Christmas. All the time. Okay, sorry to hear that. What about you, Freddie? Mm, well, mm, the best Christmas that I had, I think it was like 10 years ago. I don't remember exactly, but it's because I had more friends in that year, in that moment, and all the relatives from the United States came to spend Christmas with us. And now it's the same, but well, we just have, we just pass that festivity with my siblings and my mother and that's it but it's not the same because for example all my aunts and uncles can came here okay fine good who's missing in the group of talking i i didn't realize when when we left to to buy a artificial artificial lights in Christmas, but uh, to be honest, that is to spend money necessary. You but, see the chat? Uh, well, fireworks, fireworks. Yes. Yes, fireworks. However, However, was was beautiful with my brothers when we when we were little younger, or little when we we were kids. Uh, my fathers, my my parents, uh, care us. Care us while we we played with fireworks. Yeah, so they were watching you. Yeah, uh, I consider uh, that tradition was was important in our family. Okay. But suddenly, but suddenly, the tra the traditions gone. Exactly. 
exactly. And economy has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Okay, let me visit your friends in the other room. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. A refined lady. To sing what? I don't understand. Christmas carols. Christmas carols. Christmas carols. carols. Yes. Uh -huh. Like, uh -huh. sople viento por las calles, fum, fum, fum. And she, she taught us to sing and to go to the, to the closest neighbors to, to sing the, the Christmas carols. But I remember, it was very, uh, uh, very, uh, how do you say, it liked me a lot. But the thing that I didn't like is that before we go out, she gave us a French bread filled with uh, olives. And uh -huh. at that age, I didn't like olives. So it was, <laughs> uh, 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 it was but, like a punishment. <laughs> yes, yes. But she was very refined yeah, lady, very refined lady, really. Okay. Good, good. Okay. I think I think my best Christmas well, was when I when I when I was a young in the church and I think with my family we 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 dance we dance the la bala. <laughs> I, I think uh, it was uh, so happy, yeah. But uh, that we made in the past because sometimes in that moment in this in these years we don't do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The traditions are changing uh, every mm -hmm. year. Yes. Okay. okay yes. Let me visit another group. I'll be back. Okay. The number four is. Ah. Is Christmas better in the cold northern hemisphere? How do you say? Hemisphere. Hemisphere. Yes. Or on a beach in the southern hemisphere? Uh, well, uh, I think it's in northern is like, um, like more cold and yes. Or not? Yes, you have, you yes. have snow. Snow, yeah. yes. Yeah. In my in my case, I can say that it's better to be uh, in the cold northern hemisphere because when you are a child, we usually watch on TV, uh, you know, the Christmas <laughs> with the snow, with the, <laughs> yeah, with the Santa Claus, yeah, <laughs> uh, with the with a big, with a big Christmas tree uh, in the oh, middle yeah. or in the center, and yeah. a, a lot of color, people drinking, food, you know. <laughs> I have been uh, two years ago. Uh, I spent uh, Christmas uh, in Italy, mm -hmm. and it was amazing because wow, you can first you can see the snow. Uh, the, the way the way to celebrate the Christmas is more different. It's a little bit boring because it's not the same than El Salvador. The party way to celebrate. You know, mm -hmm. we are crazy about fireworks. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, they don't. They don't. They if they want to see fireworks, they have to go to any place where they can see fireworks. But they don't. They don't. They cannot buy fireworks by themselves and and use it as they want. The same thing happens in the United States. If you want to see fireworks, only yeah. authorities have access to it, and they do it. Yeah, yeah. So and we are only an spectator, but we never touch the the firework. Never, ever. And for uh, in the USA, uh, to see fireworks is very on. Uh, how's the name? Or uh, July Fourth. Yeah, July 4th is better than, than Christmas, right? Sure, yes. 
As a matter of fact, a, you don't you don't see fireworks in, for Christmas in the states. You see yeah. um, for Independence or if there is a special event and they are celebrating. But Christmas, yeah. you know, it's just another day. It's just another day. Yeah, mm. yeah. You see the chat, the word nativity scene? Nativity scene, yes. What is the nativity scene? Um, this, is, this is what you put under the Christmas tree. Exactly. That is the nativity scene. Yeah, at midnight you have to open the baby trees. You you have to uh uh yeah on the twenty fourth I think you have to bring uh baby Jesus and put it in the under the tree. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. What else? Uh you have the the wise the three wise men. the three wise men, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the three wise men. Okay. An, an angel could be an angel. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me visit your friends. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. 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 In the southern hemisphere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because here you have one kind of weather. <laughs> But maybe I prefer in cold northern hemisphere. I prefer that. Mm, but why? I don't know. I like the cold weather. I like this. I prefer cold than hot. But most likely you're not going to be able to mm, use fireworks or to enjoy off the fireworks. Unless you go to the beach, yeah. even if it's cold at the northern hemisphere. Yeah, but I don't like a lot of fireworks. It's not for me. Uh, okay. Consider the cold, the cold weather in North Missouri is pro is propitious to. To have a uh, tradition to share with your family is is indicated to to spend time with your friends. Uh, but if you if you have a warm a warm Christmas is is the same of the of, of every day you know yeah and especially like whenever you watch christmas cartoons christmas movies uh, there is always a connection with cold weather yeah you know the snow the eye glues santa claus so people say like well maybe one day i get to spend christmas in a cold place that is the reason that that is the the point of view or, or that is the op opinion that the marketing can can influence influence in, in ours now sure sure that's true because you know there is so much american influence like if you watch movies you watch cartoons the movies that we watch, the cartoons that we have, well, at least the traditional cartoons, they're American. So if they want to show you Christmas, it's always winter in the States, you know? Right. No, so because of the influence that, that we have. True. Well, but in this case, what I personally think about it, it's that it's better at the Southern Hemisphere. Okay. You might probably be wondering why. Most likely because I don't know if you have checked that in the United States they do have a tradition which is to go ahead and visit to your family. But 
at the southern hemisphere, you have a lot of family. But since it's not uh, raining snow or it snows, there's not a lot of snow, you're able to visit more than one of your parents, let's say your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, at the same night. So you are able to share moments with each one of them, each one of their families. I think that will be more difficult if there is snow. Okay, that's a valid point. On the, on the, on the street uh, and if it's dangerous to, to drive. Because most, most likely that is the thing that usually happens in the United States. True. That even, even sometimes you're, you're not even able to get out of the airport due to the, due to the snow. And even the airplanes are not able to... Fly. Fly. True. Due to the snow rain, so... Good, good. I don't right. know if that could be a valid point about it. Yeah, it is. It is because sometimes weather interferes with your with your plans. Yeah. Right. Okay, so discuss the next question and then we'll go back to the main session. Okay. Have your feelings towards Christmas changed since you were a child? Well, I think that most of us will say yes. It's totally different the meaning that we have uh, when we were a child. Because, uh, well, I will say that in my case, right, I <clears throat> I used to 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 wait for Christmas to to get a gift, right? Right now, uh, it's totally different for me because I I have to, to to give a gift. But if you talk about the um, like uh, we say the the uh, the, 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 the environment is totally different. I okay. remember I remember that we have like Silvador's war <laughs> and <laughs> right now we don't have those not anymore. Kind, not anymore, yeah. Okay, let's return to the main session. Yeah, I miss Silvador's, they were really good. Yeah. Yeah, Hello. Hola, Luis. Okay. Yeah, who's talking? Name. Who's talking Spanish here? Hi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't make me use my belt. <laughs> we, we miss you, Luis. What happened to you? I know. I miss, I miss you all the time. But before to sleep, I usually wash your facial. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Okay. sir. laughs> all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's 8.59. We have to disconnect. Thank you again for your time. See you tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good right. night and sleep night. with the angels. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. guys. Bye -bye. What a pleasure. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow.